Hey, what's up? Welcome to today's fantastic tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create the turtle yoga photo manipulation which you might have seen in the trailer itself. And the plan is to use several images and then combine them together. And for that purpose, we are taking one this image and then this one and then this one and then this one okay and so plan is to combine these together something like this okay and this is how we are going to create this photo manipulation so let's get started First of all, let me close all of these, okay, as I have already opened all of these over here. All right, so this is a valley, what a manipul uh, valley image and here it is the uh, shoes or rope and then as you can see it is at the moment has a white background. Either we can remove this white background or we can change its layer blending mode to let's say multiply and that way what it is going to do it is going to remove that white color and it is it is going to show only the darker color all right and in this case the darker color is these rope and these shoes and the rope okay so now let me just reverse it so i'll press ctrl t or command t on my keyboard and I'll right click from my mouse and select flip horizontally and that way it is going to flip it this way and I'm going to place it something like this and I'm going to rotate it so that this gets straight and expand it a little bit further okay and press enter and now this one is ready okay and if we change its layer blending mode back to the normal you will see it has the white background all right and sometimes the layer blending mode really helps us to get the desired result all right so it saves a little bit of time from extracting this image from the background all right and now this is the turtle and i have already extracted it so that i don't you don't get bored watching me extracting the background and if you don't know how to you use it or extract the background then you can check out my channel and you will find a tutorial on how to use the pen tool okay so you can use the pen tool or quick selection tool and you can easily extract it so let me just quickly show you this is the quick selection tool and if i click and drag it over here so you i can make the selection and then i can press ctrl j to create a copy of it and that way i can extract it or i can use the pen tool from here and by zooming in i can create the path over it okay and once i am happy with the path i will go for selection and it will ask you the feather radius so for this purpose let's say two pixels is fine and press ok and it's going to create a selection then i can press ctrl j or command j to extract that from the background okay so i'm not going to go into that all right so i've already uh, extracted it and resized it to fit it in the scene all right so as you can see i have placed it right on the uh, rope but i want this turtle to go on this side all right so again i'll flip it so i'll press ctrl t or command t on my keyboard and right click and select flip horizontally and that bit is going to flip it this way and let me bring in it something like here all right and press enter or this check mark okay and now it's on the rope all right and you can adjust this position if you want okay and as you can see this feet is not on the rope so we can fix it by pressing ctrl t and right click and select warp and click and i don't know what 
have one. okay click and drag it over here so that it gets banned from this site and press enter and now this feed is on the rope all right and we'll add a little bit shadow to it okay so let's do it so we'll create a one adjustment layer and that adjustment layer would be the curves adjustment all right and we'll clip it to this layer that way it is going to affect only the turtle layer all right it is not going to affect the entire one because if i just uncheck this clipping mask option and if i drag it as you can see it is affecting the entire image but if i just click this clipping mask now it is going to affect only the turtle layer all right so clipping mask is really really helpful all right so let me just make it little darker something like this okay and as you can see at the moment it has white mask that means it is affecting everywhere but i don't want that so i'll press ctrl t or ctrl i to inverse this mask and i'll take the brush tool from here and make sure you choose the soft edge brush with zero hardness and let's say opacity to be 20 percent all right if you press 2 on your keyboard it is going to be a 20 percent and with the white color make sure you choose the white color because we have to paint on black color if you'll paint with the black color nothing will happen okay so we want this to be visible wherever we'll paint okay so as we start painting you can see we want this area to be darker okay and this one also because light is coming from this side so you have to keep that in mind and keep on painting it that way and if you feel that uh, the opacity is low you can increase the opacity as well but i'm not going to do that rather i will go into the curves properties and drag it little further okay so that it gets even darker all right and i'll create one more duplicate copy of this curves adjustment and that way we'll paint little bit highlights on the turtle so we'll press ctrl j or command j and as you can see at the moment this clipping mask is not working since it is so i have to check this one it is not checked by default and once i do this it is going to affect only the this layer all right so i'll click and drag it upward because i have to paint the light okay so i'll drag it maybe something like this and i have to fill this area with the black color so i'll press ctrl backspace all right or command backspace if you are using mac and then i'll take the softest brush again same same setting 20 percent and i'll start painting on this area okay so that this area gets little light and if i want i can paint it a little bit over here as well because this is going to be little brighter okay and if you want keep on painting on this side so we get some highlights all right and let me show you one more way to create the rim light so if i'll just double click on this blank area on the turtle layer it is going to open the layer style options and over here we have to choose the option of inner shadows and if you are using the photoshop cc 2015 or later version then you have lots of option over here so i need to click over here and click inner shadow okay and it is going to give us the inner shadows on this entire outline but i have to make it lighter so i'll click this on this color picker tool and i'll choose let's say warmer this color okay and press ok and i'm going to change this layer blend mode to uh, linear dose and that way i'll get these cool or the uh, very intense rim light on the turtle and i'll choose the opacity something like this okay 
and i can choose the its distance as well from here but i'll keep it to five pixels and size let's say size is something this uh, nine pixel because that weight is going to get mixed with the rest of the layer okay and once i'm happy i can press okay or i can create uh, it as a new style so that uh, in the next time or in the next use i will have it and i don't have to create it again again and i'm going to call it rim light effect okay and press okay and press okay and that way it is going to be available in the styles from the on this bottom area all right and suppose if i remove its layers effects so i'll right click and uh, let's select where it is clear layer style all right and i come over here on my styles panel if it is not shown go to the windows and select styles and it would be visible over here or maybe something like here and just click it and you can see on this a uh, this layer style just with just one click we have created the rim light and this is very useful but as you can see at the moment it has created the rim light even on this area as well and we don't want that because that doesn't look realistic and that looks fake so i will right click over here and select create a layer create layer from here okay and it will ask some aspect of the effects cannot be reproduced with the layers just ignore it and press ok and it is going to create this new layer over here okay and now we have the separate layer for this rim light effect all right so we'll create a mask on this and we'll take the softest brush with the black color we are going to hide it from here okay because we don't want it to be over here all right increase the opacity of the brush and paint and that way it will not affect this area so we'll have the separate layer okay and it is affecting only the the outer edges not the under edges okay and as you can see this one is still darker so what we can do we can choose this one with the help of this one we have made it dark so we'll paint with the white so that it gets little more darker okay or we can create one more layer above it and we will clip it by pressing alt or hovering your mouse between these two layers it is going to create a clipping mask okay and as you can see now it is clipped to this layer okay so it is going to affect all oh, this layer only all right so we'll take the black color with soft as brush with one percent opacity and we are going to paint in over here so that its feet get little darker okay and it gets uh, mixed with the rope all right and now you can see the turtle is ready and if you want we can select all of these layers and press ctrl g to group them together and rename it as turtle okay so that we don't have to do it again and again and this is our rope layer so we are going to rename is it as rope and it is very important in photo manipulation because that way you are going to track it or you can easily find if you need it later on, all right and let's bring in the grass so we are going to put some grass on the top of the turtle so i have taken extracted this grass from one image and sorry let me select this grass layer and bring it over here press ctrl t okay and okay let me undo this mask because i've already created a mask so i think it's saying that 
let me first delete this grass okay this mask and uh, no this mask is now cleared and now i'll press ctrl t and flip it so i'll press horizontal and drag it over here maybe something like hit and let me put it over here okay and press enter and i'll create one mask so i'll create mask by pressing this icon and zoom in further and take the brush tool soft as brush from here and let's clip it under to the turtle only turtle layer so i'll press alt or option and hover my mouse between these two layers and it is going to create or it is going to be only on the turtle layer okay and i'm going to remove it from here so i'll take the black color and i'm going to remove it from here okay and from the top as well because we want these rim lights on the top okay and now it's fine okay now it appears that this turtle had some grass over it okay you can see the difference this is without the grass and now it has some grass okay and if you want you can define it from here as well a little bit but there is no need okay and now let's bring in the girl the yoga girl so this is the yoga girl let me click uh, choose the move tool and drag it over here okay and i think this one is looking good because light is coming from this side so it is better to place it place this lady over here so i'll press ctrl t and rotate it a little bit further on this side so that it gets on the top of this turtle so something like this and press enter okay and as you can see light is coming from this side and it is affecting this lady okay if we'll flip it in that case it would be difficult for us because on this side we have some shadows all right right and now let's enhance it a little bit so let's create one little bit shadows under this curve so we'll select the underlying underneath underlying layer or this layer underneath layer sorry and create a new layer from here and i'm going to call it shadow girl okay and we'll choose the brush tool again soft as brush with 10 percent opacity and with black color we are going to paint over here okay so that this girl gets some shadows over here and it appears that this girl is not floating on the top of it rather it is just sitting on it okay and as you can see over here we have created some shadows so we need to remove it so we'll choose the eraser tool and we are going to paint it over here okay and again zoom in further choose the brush tool and paint in over here okay and let's choose the girl and create one curves adjustment from here and drag it down and clip it only to the curl and press ctrl i to invert it and paint with the white color over here on her arms okay uh, let's bring down the shadows make it little darker okay and create one mask on the girl so we are going to make it less sharp so we'll choose the black color and we will paint over here so that way her arm would be removed and it would appear that she is actually on the turtle 
and you can see the difference okay and as you can see at the moment the shadow is looking way too dark so we can lower down its opacity maybe something like this and of this curve as well if you want but curves is fine so let's play with the shadows let's adjust a shadow okay i think this one is looking fine okay and now let's color grade it a little bit okay so as this you can see this girl has different color turtle has different color and this background has different color and we need to uh, make this background blurry as well okay and so we'll come back to the valley first and as you can see i have already applied some gaussian blur to it so if i'll just on it you can see now this has become blurry so if i just show you this is the gaussian blur which i have applied and i can even adjust it something like this i think this one is fine if i go way too much as you can see it will not show me the back scene and it is going to make it totally blurry which i don't want so i'll keep it something like this i think this one is good because our focus is on this part of the image so rest of the image will be blurry okay so i for choose the 4.3 and press ok and now let's create one color balance adjustment layer and let's clip it under it so it is going to affect only the girl so let me add some red color okay and add some blue or oh sorry yellow okay or we can even add okay let's add yellow and let's add some magenta okay or let me see if i unclip it it is going to affect the entire image but i don't want that i think this one is good now come to the shadows and in shadows add some blue add some magenta and cyan little bit okay and come to the highlights from this drop down menu and add some let's say cyan and green magenta or little bit yellow okay and uh, similarly we are going to duplicate this copy control j by pressing control j or command j and we are going to bring it down over here under this shadow girl oh, where it is gone all right so we have to select this and bring it down over here and now we are going to clip it under the only on the turtle so we'll press alt or option and hover our mouse between these and press click okay and that way it is going to affect only the turtle as you can see and we'll make some modification to this so let's bring down red little bit and magenta and yellow let's add little bit yellow and in the shadows let's bring it little bit less red and magenta is fine and blue is fine and color grading is very important to mix up all these together because otherwise it will see it will look fake okay so we have to give them the same color or same tone okay so you can experiment with these sliders to get the desired result okay and i think now this is fine and we'll create a stamp copy of it of it by pressing control alt shift e or command option shift e and now we are going to use the nick color fx plugin which is totally free you can download it okay and let me tell you that you can download all these exercise files from my website you will find a link to the 
in the description section below and in that description if uh, and uh, sorry and by going to that link you have to create a account over here and that is absolutely free and thereafter we'll be having the access to all the resources files from all my tutorials which i have started recently you will not find the exercise files for my previous tutorials but uh, i have just started it recently after one of my viewer suggested me okay so you can do that and you can follow along and you can practice and then you can share those uh, your images or your manipulation with me on my private facebook group which is called the lens of you you will find a link to that also in the description section below okay so let's come to the filter and color efx pro and this is my favorite plugin i most of the time use it for all my manipulation work okay and favorite part is cross processing okay so i will try different one and let's see which one looks good i think uh, this one is looking good or this one is also okay let's leave it i will choose other way okay so we'll come to the adjustment and over here we'll select the photo filter all right and from this photo filter we have all these different options warming filter cooling filter or orange let's increase the density of it yellow or green cyan so we have all bunch of options blue magenta sepia okay let's add the sepia and increase sorry and let's add the sepia little bit something like this and yes it has made little bit of difference and We'll again come to the this adjustment layer option and from here we'll select the gradient map and from this gradient editor option we'll choose this purple to orange and press ok and let's change this layer blend mode to soft light and bring down its opacity maybe something like this and now as you can see it has color graded it in a different way and this one is looking good ok so i'll go for this and let's add little bit of gradient or vignette effect to this so i'll again go for this adjustment layer and select the gradient and from this gradient editor i will select black to transparent gradient this is the default one you will find it somewhere okay and if you don't find it you can create your own by selecting any black and white and clicking and dragging it outside select here and make the opacity to 0% and press new and that way it would be available for you in the for the future use and press ok and now change this layer bl blend mode to let's say radial and check reverse and let's increase its scale maybe something like this and click on the middle and place the center on the light source okay and increase its scale even further maybe something like this and press ok let's try this different layer blend mode so let's say soft light this one is looking good or overlay overlay has made it little darker on this side so we can even go for normal but normal is not looking good so i'll go for soft light and we'll select this mask take the softest brush with the black color and we can paint over here because we don't want this to affect this side okay and now let's add a little bit more light even over here so we'll create a new layer and change this layer blend mode to linear dose and from the swatches we'll take the orange color okay 
and we'll make the large brush and make sure its opacity is something like 20 percent okay and we will paint over here as well okay little bit once or twice and that way it is going to add a little bit more light a warmer light over here and as you can see the difference okay and let's click and drag it something like over here and you can lower down the opacity if you want otherwise it's fine you can leave it as it is okay so this is our final result let me just show you by going to the full screen control zero so this is our final photo manipulation i hope you have learned a lot and if you have any question in mind then you can leave that in the comment section and please let me know how did you like this tutorial and if this is your first time please do subscribe to my channel because i try to upload lots of videos and if you'll subscribe you will not miss any video from me and subscribing is absolutely free and again do download the exercise files of this tutorial by going to the going to my website harshwardhanart.com you'll find a link to that in the description section and uh, you need to register over there registration is absolutely free you will have the access to all the resources files and you can download follow along and you can share that with me on my facebook group which is called the lens of you this is a community i'm building support community you can ask any question you can promote your products your photography or anything related to photography or photoshop okay so thank you so much Bye-bye. See you in the next episode.